Kindness Corner is brought to you by Garcia Vega. Its natural leaf wrapper gives you rich tobacco taste. Garcia Vega, still an honest cigar. Well, hi, everybody. I'm Rob Kiner, and the Mets won out here today behind Dwight Gooden, winning by a score of 5-1. to one. Dwight getting his 13th victory, and he picked up 12 strikeouts on his way to a possible league-leading strikeout total at the end of the season. We're going to have as our guest in the show Calvin Chapman. He was on yesterday after a Grand Slam home run. We'll talk about his ball game here today in just a moment, right after this message from Garcia Vega. Well, our guest in the show... Right here, Kelvin Chapman, and we're going to have Dwight Gooden on, but he's icing his arm down after a brilliant pitching performance. The fielders don't ice down after a ball game. I used to. <laughs> when I had the surgery on my shoulder, I used to have to ice down all the time, but he threw the heck out of the ball tonight, so I, I think he deserves a nice job tonight. You know, we, we don't have you on here for your hitting tonight. We have you on for your defense. You didn't handle a chance in the whole ball game. How lucky I, can you get? I like it that way. You know, I, I, you're amazed at Dwight because, you, you know, he's so awesome. It, you know, it's a chance of a lifetime to see him pitch, and... Uh, you know, people get their money's worth when they come out to see him pitch, and it's just fun to play behind him because he's just an awesome, you know, awesome pitcher right now, and it's just great fun to play behind him. You know, the thing that, that's really amazing about him, and he, of course, is 19 years of age, but uh, he's in command of his pitches. He only walked one batter in the ball game, struck out 12. He's around the plate all the time. He has to be easy to play behind. He is. You know, most strikeout pitchers go 3-2, you know, 3-1 all the time, but he's, he throws strikes, and he, he mixes up his pitches, and... Uh, I tell you, he threw some curveballs tonight that were just unbelievable, and uh, it was just a joy to watch tonight. And I'm, you know, he's got the Dodgers number, but I, I just hope we continue this you know, winning streak. Well, the Mets won the ball game. The first nine batters for the Mets were retired, not in order, because there were two walks, but one was still not attempting to steal, and the other was out on the double play. But in the fourth inning, the Mets said nine men to the plate, so they caught up with uh, Fernando Valenzuela, who also pitched a fine game, but he was wild in the game. With two men out in the fourth inning, the uh, Walked to Keith Hernandez, got it started. It was a 3-2 pitch, a pitch just on or off the outside corner. It was that close. It was called ball four. And then George Foster singled up the middle, and then Daryl Strawberry walked. That brought up Hubie Brooks. He got an infield base hit, a lucky base hit for the Mets, but they got the first run of the ball game off that. And then Kelvin Chapman came up, and this is how Kelvin put the Mets on top by a score of three to nothing. You really ripped it, didn't you? I hit it like he, I hit it like he threw it. He, you know, he threw a screwball, and uh, you know, th I think it was three-two. I can't remember the count, but you know, I was expecting a fastball, but I was out front, and he's got a good screwball, but I'm lucky I got enough of it. You know, get it over the infield's head. Of course, that was a big base hit in the ball game. It gave the Mets a three-nothing lead and gave uh, Dwight something to work on. And of course, you continued to hit the ball well in the ball game and uh, coming off of yesterday it's got to be a, a happy day for you again yeah it's it's fun for me because i get to play every day and uh you know right when he threw that fastball that i hit off the wall Sosia yelled about halfway oh no you know so it was supposed to be an outside fastball but he got it in on me and luckily i uh i, I should have hit it a little better but i'm glad i get it off the wall so. we're gonna come back and talk about that double off the wall because it was a very to say the least, interesting play by Hubie Brooks, who is on first base. We'll return after this message from Mitsubishi. Well, our guest in the show, we have Kelvin Chapman. Kelvin driving in two runs in the ball game. He now has six RBIs in his last two ball games, and playing uh, for the Mets at second base. In the uh, in the sixth inning, Hubie Brooks led off with a single, and then Kelvin came up and hit a ball to deep left field. I thought it was going to be a home run. Uh. It was a pitch low and in, and uh, it was about the same pitch I had yesterday, but I got under it a little bit, but uh, lucky I carry, carried it enough to hit off the wall, but, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad I didn't, because I would have probably passed Yubi at first base, because he was coming back to tag, but, uh, you know, that's baseball, you know, we make mistakes, and uh, hopefully we'll correct them, and, you know, we'll go on to have a good season. As it turned out, Yubi was thrown out at third base on the double by Kevin Chapman. Chapman, you know, Kevin, at one time in baseball, you could not get a double on that ball. You have to advance the runner in front of you two bases for you to get a double, but they changed the rules, so no, you do get a two-base hit. I'm glad they changed the rules. I like <laughs> it. Well, that could have been a tough part in the ball game, but some brilliant base running by Kelvin. He stole third base, surprised everybody with Fitzgerald striking out, and then continued on home for another run for the Mets as uh, he came in to score in a throwing error by Socia. So there was a run stolen after the bad base running play by Hubie Brooks. The only blemish on the record of uh, the pitcher, Dwight Gooden, was this pitch to uh, Solskja. And, and Solskja gets a fastball right here. Gooden getting the ball down just a bit. And he takes it over the right center field fence for his fourth home run of the year. For some reason, 
Shosa really hits the Met pitchers well, and this home run here giving the Dodgers their only run of the ball game. So that's the way it was out here at Shea Stadium. Dwight, thank you very much for coming on. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have me on more often. <laughs> Kelvin Chapman. Hope to see him here in a couple more days. So we'll return right after this message from Mitsubishi. Well, the Mets won it out here tonight by a score of 5-1. to one. They have picked up a half game on the Cubs who did not play today. Mets staying at the same position with the Philadelphia Phillies who won their ball game 9-1 to one over San Diego. So the Mets now five games back of the Cubs as they play the Dodgers again tomorrow night. Good in the winning pitcher. His record now 13 and 8. He had 12 strikeouts in the ball game. He now has 224 strikeouts. And only these people have had more in their rookie season. Herb score with 245. Alexander with 227. Tom Hughes, long Tom Hughes with 225. And uh, Matthewson with 221. And John Montefusco with 215. Dwight Gooden with a total now of 214. So Dwight on his way to a possible all-time record for strikeouts by a rookie pitcher. And if he does lead the league in strikeouts, he will be the first teenage rookie pitcher to ever lead the league in strikeouts. So that's the story out here at Shea Stadium. Once again, the final score, the New York Mets 5 and the Los Angeles Dodgers 1. Join us here tomorrow night as the Mets take on the Dodgers at 7.30 p.m. right here on WRTV. <music> Kindness Corner has been brought to you by Mitsubishi Motors. Mitsubishi takes you where you've never been before. And by Garcia Vega. Its natural leaf wrapper gives you rich tobacco taste. Garcia Vega, still an honest cigar. box of Garcia Vega cigars. And from Casio's collection of high-tech, high-fashion watches featuring the W500 Water Sport watch with net, standard lap time, and stopwatch features. For the marathon runner, Casio, every time a winner at fine department stores. Ralph Kiner's wardrobe by Stanley Blacker.